Hello friends, I'm Amir. I want to begin free CCNA course from today. And the first lesson is introduction to network. I will introduce what is network, types of networks from different sides, and describe some networks parameters or expressions, terms, and something like that. Yes. First, what is network? In information technology, network is defined as the connection of at least two computers, uh, either by cable or wireless connection, as you can see in this picture also. The simplest network is combination of two computers that connected by cable. This type of network is called also peer-to-peer -peer network. Like this, I mean peer-to-peer -peer network between two computers. Each computer has access to data of the other device and can share resources such as disk space, applications, softwares, database, and something like that. Today's network tend to be more complex and don't just consist of two computers, like 50 or 40 years ago. System with more than 10 participants usually use client-server networks. In this network, a central computer, that means server, provide resources to the other participants in the network. We call them clients. In fact, servers are computers, maybe laptop, maybe workstation computer, with software that enable them to provide information such as email, database, web pages to other end devices on the network. End devices, I mean some computers, maybe some printers, and yeah, we should talk about. Okay, clients get service from servers, and this connection is either wireless or maybe wired with cable, I mean LAN. Purpose of server can be shared data, can be shared software, can be central control of program like Active Directory, as you mean also Windows Server. Maybe can get roll some print server, share more, maybe share storage and backup also, management of authorization and whatever. But uh, the simplest example of network is in your home or maybe your office. This is a wireless LAN, which is good example of a small client server network. The various de uh, devices in your home are wirelessly connected to the router. I mean this router, some called also modem, which acts as a central node or server for the household like laptop, maybe TV, PC, printer, and many different devices can connect to this modem and internet, maybe using Wi-Fi or cable. And I mean also internet. Since the devices are connected to the router as clients, they are part of the network and can use same resource as the server, namely the internet. So we can say internet is a service that one server, like router, give to us. The devices also can also communicate with each other without having to establish direct connection, for example, between mobile devices and laptop and other devices. For example, you can send a print job to a Wi-Fi enabled printer without first connecting 
the printer to the computer using a cable. But first also, what are the tasks and advantages of a network? The main task of network is provide participants with a single platform for exchanging data and sharing resources. As you can see also in this uh, slide here, this task is so important that uh, many aspects of everyday life and the modern world would be not imagined without network. We cannot live without network. Network components, we have three basic network components. Any network infrastructure contains three types of the network component, which is device, I mean, uh, or also end user, something like that, and media and services. First, devices. Devices also including end users. End users on end devices are the first network component. End devices are either the source or destination of a message or data transmit over the network. I mean the first or last step in the network is that exactly. As I said, network device is the source or destination of a message transmit through, through the network. To distinguish one terminal from another, each terminal in the network is identified by an address, like your home. Your home also has address, or devices also should have address. When a terminal establishes connection, it uses the address of the destination terminal to specify where the message should be sent. Some examples should be like computers, workstation, laptop, file server, web server, Windows server, and also I have talked about file server and web server. Maybe file server is a, a computer responsible for the storage and management of data. And also web server is a computer that runs website. And also we have network printers and we have some phones, VOIP phones, camera, security camera, and also mobile portable devices portable, excuse me, such as a smartphone, a tablet, iPad, and some wireless uh, or on credit also card readers and barcode scanners, and all of them is end users because they cannot uh, do anything in the network, only can get uh, or send uh, some information and the data to other devices. But we need to some intermediary network devices between them. Intermediary network devices, these devices connect the individual terminals to the network and can connect several individual networks to form an internetwork. They provide connectivity and also guarantee data flow throughout the network. And this device use the address of the destination terminal together with information on the network interconnection to determine the road um, that message must be must take through the network. In the figure, you can see some example like router that we have, and also switch, multi-layer switch or layer two switch, and also we have hub and firewall. They should regenerate and transmit data signals, keep information about the roads that exist through the network and networking. When we talk about roads and paths, it means roaders. Roaders choose the best path to destination and works in layer three. Layer three, I mean, OC model and OC model, but it's not, not now. Also directed data in alternative paths when there is a link failure 
redundancy and also report errors and communication failures monitoring devices switch can um, works and function and also routers and also firewall and sort and direct message according to quality of service priorities and also allow or deny data flow according to security parameters and its firewall duty to help us and to protect our computers and our networks against some attacks. As I said, Rotor uses its routing table to determine the best path to use to forward a packet to destination. Network switch also is equipment that allows two or more IT devices such as computers to communicate one another in layer two. Firewall is a network security devices that monitors incoming and outgoing network traffic and permits or blocks also data packets based on a set of security rules. And it, func uh, it functions like a checkpoint in the road and port in our network. And also we have media. The third component of network is media. Communication to a network is transport by means. The medium provides the channel through which the message travels from the source to destination. Modern networks mainly use three types of means to interconnect devices and provide the road by which data can be transmitted. Maybe this is cable, wire, metallic wires within cables, data is encoded into electrical impulses like RJ45 or console cable in this picture. And also we have glass and or maybe plastic fibers. Data is encoded as pulses of light. And also we have wireless transmission. Data is encoded using wavelengths from the electromagnetic spectrum. And also we have some devices like NIC or network interface card. Network inter interface card or LAN adapter provides the physical connection to the network at the PC or other end device. NIC duties including data transfer, data buffering, this is queue management and also encapsulation and media access control. We have also any term and any expression is also important. You should know about that. All of the switch and loaders and computers have any port like this port, like this port. And physical port is a connector or outlet on a networking devices where the media is connected to an end device or another networking device. And also, it calls in some situation interface. Interface are special ports, special ports on a networking device that connect to individual networks. Because routers are used to interconnect networks, the ports on a router or switch are referred to as network interface. Another thing is important and you should know about that in networking is topology. What is topology? We have any topology here, as you can see. We can show how devices can communicate together and which devices communicate to other devices. For example, in this picture, you can see we have any computer 
and using this NIC can get connection to the switch and with cable can connection to can communicate to router in layer 3 and loader uh, router also use fiber uh, excuse me fiber to connect it to internet and in the, maybe connected to internet of war and also we can draw it in topology like this and topology how the connection between the nodes appears to the data link layer data link layer i mean about cable some connections and physical connection between devices we have also types of computer networks is also very important you should know about that we have lan wan man or wlan lan is a network infrastructure that provides access to users and end devices in a small geographical area like your home like a small business network owned by um, individual or it department or business something like that and what about when when a network infrastructure that provide access to other networks over a wide geographical area which is typically owned and managed by telecommunication services in your city in your country and communicate land together in a city or in country and in the state maybe and also we have man man is a network infrastructure that spans a physical area larger than land but smaller than a van for example maybe a small city men's are typically operated by a large organization and also we have wlan wireless lan similar to lan but connection happens using wireless as you can see here using wireless this connection happens and using a small geographical area and we have also some expressions here internet intranet and extranet what uh, are difference between them <coughs> internet is worldwide as you can see is very large here is a worldwide connection of interconnected networks as you can see and known as uh, www or world wide web and also we have intranet intranet is a term often used to refer a private connection of lands and vans that belongs to an organization and is designed to be accessible only by the organization member employees on other with author authorization for example in your company all of the employers can communicate together and it's intranet but anyone outside of your company cannot connect it to employers via and using intranet and what is extranet extranet at organization may use an extranet to provide secure and safe access to individuals who works for a different organization but requires access to organization data example of extranet includes a company that is providing access to outside suppliers and also contractors maybe web shop and give access to customers for web shop and this is extranet home and uh, also a small office internet connection types of internet connection this is dsl cable satellite dial-up cellular for example dsl uh, this uh, is digital subscriber lines also provide high bandwidth and high avail availability and always on connection to the internet DLS, uh, dsl runs over a telephone line 
and in general, a small office and home office use uh, users connect using uh, DSL or ADSL. And also we have cable offered by cable television service providers in your country, the internet data and signal transmit on the same cable that delivers uh, cable television. It provides a high band bandwidth and high availability and also an always connection to the internet. And we have also cellular. Uh, cellular internet access uses cell phone network to connect uh, wherever you can get a cellular signal, you can get cellular uh, internet access. Performance is limited by the capabilities of phone and cell tower to which is uh, it, it's connected. And we have also satellite. The availab availability of satellite internet access also in, is, in, is a benefit in those areas that would uh, otherwise have uh, no internet uh, connectivity at all, satellite dishes requires a clear line of size to the satellite. And also you can see sometimes in some banks in some countries use a satellite. And we have also dial-up telephone. Dial-up telephone also an inexpensive option that uses any phone line and a modem. Uh, and the low bandwidth provided by a dial-up modem connection is not sufficient for large data transfer. Also, it's uh, useful for mobile access uh, while tra uh, traveling. But what is bandwidth? We say about uh, cable and, and TLS has, uh, DSL has um, high bandwidth. Bandwidth is the maximum possible amount of data uh, transfer between two points of a network in a specific time. And this is the meaning of uh, bandwidth also. And about a uh, network uh, architecture, we have some uh, terms like fault tolerance and QS, and uh, we should observe it in our uh, topology and in our uh, design. Our network should be fault tolerance. It means the ex expectations is that uh, the, the internet is always available to the millions of users who rely who rely on it. If one pa pass, for example, fails, like this pass, the message can be instantly sent over a different link, like this, for example, link. And this is redundancy. And also about quality of service is very important. Is also an ever increasing requirements of network today. New applications available to users over internet works such as voice and live video transmission create higher expectations for the quality of the delivery service. Yes, and we have also Escalability, our network should be scalable. It means a scalable network can expand quickly to support new users and applications without impacting the performance of service being delivered to existing user. If you want to add um, any user, any new user, any new company, any new uh, devices to your uh, system, it, it should not be happen any problem about uh, this function. And also, our network should be secure. Confidentiality, availability, and integrity. Confidentiality ensures that data or information system is accessed by only an authorized person, like your email, for example. Only you can check your email using password and using your uh, username. And also about integrity. Integrity assures that data or information system can be trusted. And availability, data and information systems are available when required. Using internet, extranet, intranet, and something like that. Yes. And about network also security components, we need to some uh, devices and some components. 
is important for us, like antivirus. Uh, these are used to protect uh, end device from becoming infected with uh, malicious software, and you can use at home. And also firewall filtering. This is used to block unauthorized access to the network. And uh, on the on your windows, you can also have this function. And also, we have other software uh, hardware uh, that help us to protect against uh, any attacks. And this is firewall also, like uh, Cisco firewall. And also we have a VPN, IPS, and ACL. And for, for example, we have ACL or access control list. They are used to uh, filter access and uh, traffic forwarding is uh, a protocol which can be enabled and created in routers and switches by some commands, but not, not now. For example, uh, this computer can connect it to server, but this computer cannot be connected and cannot communicate to server. And the, um, using access control list, we can uh, create and establish the, this connection or maybe filter. And also we have IPS. There are used, uh, these, these are used to identify fast spreading threats, such as uh, zero day or zero hour attacks. And also we have VPN. Uh, also, it is a tunnel that secure access to remote workers and remote uh, offices. Maybe two offices in, for example, London and in Tokyo can communicate together over the public public network, and it's, it's very secure. It doesn't need to get some definition now more, but because uh, it will be complicated for you in the first uh, day. Also, uh, we have uh, some quiz uh, about uh, this lesson, and we want to test our knowledge about uh, this lesson. For example, uh, number one, which device performs the function of determining the path that messages should take to inter network? As you know, Only router can help us about determine the path between two system and two, I mean, uh, devices. About firewall, for example, firewall has other definition. Firewall is like a port and checkpoint and can filter or block uh, some access. And web server is a server and is a computer that provides a website for us. And also DSL modem is a is a modem that uh, help us to connect to the internet, but cannot uh, determine which path is better, which route is better for us, and is the the duty of router. And other thing. With two statements, describe intermediary devices. Intermediary devices can generate data. Content? No, it's not, because applications on end device, on devices generate data or maybe also alter data. Alter data and also responsible for initiating the encapsulation process encapsulation i mean the process of putting headers around some data and it's uh, it's not now maybe after that yeah. but intermediary devices direct the path of the data yes is correct because it's the duty of rotor rotor has responsibility to determine the best path and also intermediary devices connect individual hosts to the network. Also, it's correct. Maybe, for example, switch can help us about this process and help us to connect to the internet. And also, intermediary devices initiate the encapsulation process. No, it's not true. 
Yes. What is the internet? Internet is a network based on Ethernet technology. It's not true because Ethernet provides global connection and enable network devices uh, with different network. It provides network access for mobile devices. No, it's not true. It's not correct. Provides connection to interconnected global network, such as Ethernet, DSL, cable, serial connections to communicate. And is a private network for an organization with LAN or RAN? It's not true because it's not private, it's a public. As you can see, a private network for an organization with LAN and RAN connection is an intranet, is not internet. Intranet is a private in your organization and um, your employees uh, can talk together and employers can, uh, can employees can talk together uh, under organization network and is uh, intranet yes what type of network must a home user access in order to do online shopping Home user access to do online shopping cannot be intranet, cannot be also extranet, only this is internet. As you know, an intranet is a basically a local area network for internal user only. Internal, it means in your office. An extranet is a network I mean this year is a network for external partners to access a specific resources or data inside a company. For example, you want to get access to use any data in the server and you are worker and work at any company and it's extranet. Only for you and outside of the network and outside of the company. But home users do not necessar necessarily need a LAN to access the internet. For example, a PC connects directly to ISP, I mean internet service provider, through a router. And also, it's not a local area network. Local area network is clear. A user is implement, implementing security on a small uh, office devices, office network. Which two actions would provide the minimum security requirements for this network? As you can see, this is, I mean about, uh, and uh, this is a question about a small office network. In a small office network, you can implement firewall on Windows or like a software, and also you can install antivirus. Yes. You don't need to have, you cannot use wireless network because it's not very, very safe technically. And also uh, security solutions such as also IPS or intrusion detection system are usually associated with business network, large company and installing uh, antivirus and anti-malware software and also implementing firewall is very good solution for home networks and also installing a wireless network as i said will not improve network security because also is not very safe and is also vulnerable and i mean is in danger and the last question is, which two internet solution provide an always on high bandwidth connection to computer on a LAN? I have talked about that. This is cable and this is also DSL. Cable and DSL provide high bandwidth 
and always unconnection and also Ethernet connection to host computer or LAN. Uh, thank you for watching this video and I hope you can learn something about network and it's very important I should say to you and remember to also uh, read uh, CCNA books and documents because I cannot um, learn you all of the terms and all of the uh, documents in um, 100 videos and it's not uh, it's not possible for me and for other also trainer thank you for watching and please subscribe me and support me and like also my video or maybe leave any comment have a nice day friends